Hi, this is Rob Leo, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a Chrome extension called Cast for Education. Um, if you have a Chromecast at home, it's a little stick you put in your uh, HDMI port of your television. You can kind of beam what's on your computer or what's on your smartphone to your TV. So, for example, if you have the Netflix app on your phone, you could watch a movie, but instead of watching on your phone, you could watch it on your television through a Chromecast. They cost about $35 at uh, Best Buy, Walmart, or what have you. And you basically connect them to your wireless and they play whatever's on your computer screen to your television with the sound coming out of the television. That's the spirit of Cast for Education, except there's no hardware required and it doesn't cost anything. Um, to get the Chrome extension on the teacher computer, the students would not need to do anything uh, other than, other than uh, click a button to cast to the teacher screen, but the teacher does need to install the Cast for Education Chrome extension. I've got mine installed right here, this little green icon. And if you're on your teacher computer, you can get there a couple different ways. You'll notice that this rainbow colored icon on the far left says apps. You could click on that and go to the Chrome web store and you could type in cast for education. It's called Google cast for education. You simply click the blue button, you give it permission and you add it to Chrome when you do so successfully. Like I said, it appears right here on your computer screen. The only thing a teacher needs to do is uh, set it up and then uh, invite their students to request access to their screen. So here's how this is going to work. The teacher computer, let's say, is uh, connected to your projector. So the teacher is projecting their screen to uh, the front of the classroom. They'll click on the cast for education icon. And if you notice, it wants to know a receiver name. I'm just going to put down my name. Uh, I don't mess with the settings and I simply click save. So now Mr. Leo is uh, what we're looking for. The teacher is also going to leave this window open. Um, when it comes time to asking students to, to uh, request to cast to your screen, you can add people in a couple different ways. What's nice is you can just add their email address in. So I could type in a specific email address. And invite that student. However, I could also select one of my Google Classrooms. And what that will do is import your entire class list into uh, this platform so that anybody who is enrolled in that class can request to access your screen. So if you wanted a whole roster, you can click on that and it will invite that whole group. I'm going to go back to the individual user. You can give that person one of two options. They can either request to cast to your screen or you can simply give them permission to present. I would be very hesitant to offer them can present permission. Instead, I'm going to ask them to request and then the teacher, myself, would grant them the permission once they've requested it. We're simply going to click add. You can invite more if you'd like to. But when you're all set, you can close this screen. but you wanna leave this pop-out window open. Um, so we're all set with sharing. We're all set with the settings. If you recall, I simply put my name in. I am registered. If you need to make a change, you can make a change. And I'm gonna click save once again. What I wanna do next is bring up a uh, student screen. We'll try to place this side by side. You just drag this over so you can see it. I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit and we'll drag this over to the side just a little as well. We'll try to place these side by side. So on one screen, I've got the student view and on the other screen, I've got my cast for education pop out window. Again, leaving that open. Uh, I'm going to go to the student side of things and Nicholas is now going to request to cast to my screen. So with the three dots on the far right of the browser, the student is going to click the cast button. And they're going to say cast to where and you might get a message um, from Google with like an OK got it prompt. You can you can close that or click OK got it. But then you should see the um, you should see the receiver in this case, Mr. Leo.
you can't see the message because it appears on my other screen, but you probably heard that little notification. Uh, I'm getting a pop-up on my screen that said, uh, guest cast request, Nicholas Leo would like to present. Uh, so I'm gonna accept that by clicking the green check mark and accept it. And what I should now see is Nicholas Leo's screen taking over my screen. There it is. I'm actually going to, um, I can't move this, so I'm gonna escape or just close this for just a moment and do it all over again. Um, Again, you saw the process with Nicholas Leo. I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him out of the way, but I'm going to I'm going to click this cast button again. So bear with me. Once again, I get the notification. I accept it, and now Nicholas Leo's screen is now appearing on mine. So as a student, what I could do is show what I'm working on or show my work or give an example of something, but I'm sharing my computer screen and note that it's only the tab that was open when you requested to present. So if you open up a new tab, that's not the tab that's going to be casting to the teacher screen. So it's just the tab that was open. Um, what I'm watching uh, Nicholas do right now is sign up for a tool called Scratchwork. It's a great little whiteboard tool, especially for showing math equations. And let's say Nicholas wants to work on a new board and show his work in math. Now, I don't have a touch screen. I just have a mouse. But let's say uh, Nicholas is doing a complex math problem and wants to show his work. What you should be seeing, uh, actually, this is not going to work with this application because it's happening in real time. Let me stop casting and have him open up the new pop-out window. Once again, you can hear a notification sound. There it is, we're gonna accept. Now we'll see what Nicholas is working on because a new tab did open up, there it is. So let's say Nicholas is working on a, a math problem. And he wants to solve the equation and show his work. We could then see the student work through the problem and show his work in real time without leaving his seat. So we got 5x over here. We're going to subtract 11. So it looks like 5x equals minus 7. x equals negative 7 fifths. I skipped a step here. I should have did divide by five, divide by five. And uh, anyway, you can now see how the student solved the equation. When the student is all done, you can stop casting as a teacher just by clicking the X. And if another student has requested access, you could do that. You could uh, call on that student as well and just give them permission to cast to your to cast to your screen. So once again, this is basically a way for the students to cast or broadcast their screens to your computer that is connected to the projector so the whole class can see what they're working on. Um, once again, the process, teacher is going to install the Cast for Education or Google Cast for Education Chrome extension. From there, in their settings, they're going to give their cast a name, the receiver name. In this case, it would be the teacher. Once they've done so, they're going to invite people to share. It can be an individual with their email address, or it could be a whole class with a Google Classroom enrollment. And again, you wanna make sure you are giving them permission to request access, not to present, because they could, in fact, just take over your screen and present without your permission. Uh, if you're all set and you wanna remove somebody, you could. You don't necessarily have to. And then again, on the student screen, the student's job doesn't need to install anything. They're simply going to click the dots, cast, and then select where they want to send their screen. Teacher will then accept, and the student can then broadcast what's on their page. And then when, they, when you're all set, the teacher can stop them from casting by clicking on the X. Thanks for listening, and I hope you find this useful.